for the Portofino, Ferrari invested energy disguising the back deck stature with shapes and hues, however the space required by that best still makes this a fairly unusually proportioned sports auto. There's a reiteration of exceptionally expensive discretionary carbon fiber boards, however in actuality the unadorned auto feels present day and moderately gorgeous with the best up, which would now be able to be raised and collapsed progressing. The inside is vigorously overhauled with an occupied yet alluring dashboard. Those back seats are still reasonable for shopping packs, or kids no greater than shopping sacks, yet it arranges for enough space in the storage compartment to concede three aircraft portable items with a rooftop up. The driver's binnacle is a bizarre blend of a simple tachometer flanked by an advanced speedometer and auxiliary instruments. That controlling wheel may look extraordinary, yet it's difficult to tell since it's very swarmed with turn markers, the horn, lights, damping, and footing and skeleton setting switches, in addition to the starter. The settled position adapt change paddles are in the driver's seat. Its greater part ends up clear sooner or later, however the markers aren't all around set for the fingers and the switch activity is poor. Whatever remains of the dash is generally great with clear illustrations and a quick reaction from the root framework, yet a portion of the switches and rotating controls wobble alarmingly. The driver's seating position is great, with heaps of energy alterations for directing and seat, yet the pedal box is too little for huge feet, with overhanging trim getting shoe welts as they go from brake to throttle and the other way around. In an auto of this execution, that is simply alarming. Force the right hand settled position paddle and the crate draws in first and the grasp protest, at moving pace, the Portofino feels clumsy, with poor perspectives of the body's extremes. There's additionally drive line shunt, and the back suspension is boisterous over knocks. This clamor was joined by an alarming clatter from our test auto's travel around freeway. Accelerate, nonetheless, and the two-fold wishbone suspension's magnet or heological dampers permit those enormous 20-inch Pirelli P0 tires to cruise over the most noticeably bad knocks in southern Italy, for a 200 miles per hour auto, the Portofino rides extremely very much to be sure. That drivetrain shunt vanishes at around 25 miles per hour, and the motor pulls hard from a little more than 1,000 revolutions per minute. The Portofino is just around two seconds off the pace set by the 488 Games car, which has 69 horsepower more. Get on it and you will trust him. The V8 scratches like the metal segment in a school band, Ferraris don't yell any longer, and down changes from the double grip seem like sparklers, yet it positively does the business. That body shell feels as solid as another match of pants, with scarcely any bending or shake. While the Portofino feels insignificantly stiffer with the roof top up, it's amazingly rigid in all conditions. Simply the littlest press of the throttle has those twin scroll turbos spool up, terminating the auto not far off like a chute. You work out where you need to be, press the noisy pedal, and you're there. It's extremely that snappy. Furthermore, if the turbocharged V8 doesn't exactly have the speedy reaction of a normally suctioned match, it's sufficiently nearby not to issue, 